was taking a stroll, and she came upon a troll. <gasps> the troll guarded a bridge, a troll who let no one pass without paying the toll. Princess Coconut Cupcake ordered the troll who takes the toll to lower the bridge so she might cross. But you must pay the toll, insisted the troll who takes the toll. Ha! Huh, says you, I am Princess Coconut Cupcake, and you must do as I say, said Princess Coconut Cupcake in an ever so high and mighty manner. That was not really good manners at all. <laughs> Heel? 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 Help! <laughs> oh, so much for heel. Heel refused to pay the toll to the troll. She said, I will find my own way. Uh, well, and what I do you say? I thought it sounded like story time. I'm sorry to interrupt. It's actually a good place to stop. We're just at the end of the chapter. We'll find out what the little asparagus told the princess next time. Yay! Bye, 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 bye. bye, kids. Wow, they really love that story. Every time I read it to them, it's like they're first. You know, Plum has been asking for ideas for a play to direct, and I'm wondering if she could do a berry fairy tale as a play. You know, put on a show for the kids. That's a great idea. I'll loan her my big book of Berry Can Berry Fairy Tales. Huh? This is great! What a super idea! You don't know how long I've been trying to decide which play to do. And how special to do something for the Berry Can Kids. It'll be like a cozy little story time on stage. Perfect! Thanks, girls! <laughs> 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 nice one, Plum! Thank you, Orange! <laughs> oh. <gasps> well, hello there, Plum! Huh? <gasps> oh, Cherry, I'm so sorry! Oh, no! I kind of squashed your very big Glitz and Glamour magazine! I'm really... Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins. Colossal Smash stage play at Berry Big City Theater. Oh, yeah. It's huge. Biggest thing to hit Berry Big Broadway in years. It's packing in the audiences. Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins? That's a big production. Wow. You know, I could do something sensational with that play. I would direct it. Bigger. Better. I could make it a bigger hit than it is in Berry Big City. I thought you were just putting something together for the Bear King kids. You know, a cozy little story time on stage. Huh? Oh, sure, sure. But this, this, this will be bigger and better. And when the final curtain falls and the applause of the audience is ringing in the rafters, no one will say that Plum can't direct a smash hit. I don't think anyone's saying that. And they won't! I'll direct a play that will make Berry Bitty City the talk of the theater world! <laughs> mirror, mirror, at my command! Mirror, Tell mirror, me my Barry command! Barry. Tell me who is land. very fairest in all the land. I've been to a lot of auditions in my time, and I've never had to wait this long. How long have we been here? Oh, since before lunch. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, <sighs> okay, that's it. I'm gonna find out what's going on. 
Why are you dressed like that? We thought we might have a better chance if we all dressed for the park. I'm guessing you're all trying out for Snowberry? Well, uh, yeah, of course. I mean, well, yes. And may the best gown, I mean, girl, win. Mm -hmm. Inspired, Berrykin Bonnie. Simply inspired. Now, you are a tree in a forest. What kind of tree? You know, am I a maple, an oak, spruce, birch fir, mulberry, hemlock, chestnut, pecan, silver fir, walnut, white fir, aspen, jeffrey pine, lodgepole pine, uh, Bob lolly pine? Give me a moment. Okay, here it is. You are a redwood. So, as a redwood, how would you, from deep within your redwood heart, from the very depths of your redwood soul, sing this note? Ah! Hmm. A good start, but I'm not believing it yet. Plum? Oh, hi, Strawberry. Um, I believe there are others in line ahead of you. Plum? Yes? It's dark outside, and there are a lot of folks waiting. Do you think we might move the rest of the auditions to the morning? Oh. <laughs> Goodness. Time just flies when I'm in my zone. Uh, good idea, Strawberry. But I've got a big show to cast, so we better start early. People! People! All right, that's a wrap for tonight. Auditions continue first thing in the morning. How's this? this show to be as grand as Berry Big City Theater's production, but how will she do that? We're Berry Bitty City. All we have is a bitty stage. Big! Think big! Curtain goes up in one week, people! No one should be reading their lines off their scripts anymore! Oh, hello, Snowberry. We're the seven Berrykins. Plum! Huh? Your design crew is here. At last! You seven, take five! And memorize those lines! So, let's talk about the big tidal wave effect in Act 2. Uh... I don't remember a tidal wave in Snowberry and the Seven Barricans. I don't think Berry Big City Theater had a tidal wave. Exactly! But we will! That's why our Snowberry play will be bigger and better than Berry Big City's production. Uh... I'm just wondering... Why does our play have to be better... And bigger! Oh. That, too. Then very big cities. Do you want us to be the laughing stock of the theater world? A and I'm the director, so I'll be the laughingest of the stock. I could see the headlines now. Very Bitty City makes very big boo-boo. People pull plug on Plum. <laughs> Work with me, please. I said the Seven Berry Kids need to fly stage right to stage left, not left to right. Those launch platforms need to be built on the other side. Flying Berry Kids? I guess another thing only our Snowberry play will have. <gasps> Listen, I'm all for dreaming big, but I'm worried Plum is dreaming too big this time. Kind of going a little overboard. Somewhere she'll never find her way back from. Here comes Lemon now. Speaking of going overboard. <laughs> 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 
very overboard. <laughs> I order you, Royal Huntsman, to leave Snowberry. Hi. Come try some coconut swirl I just made. What would the Queen of the Kingdom want with that? Fetch me a short stack and make it snappy, or to the dungeon you'll go. Why don't you join us, Lemon? Aw, guys, don't call me Lemon. I gotta stay in character. Join you indeed. What do you take me for? I only dine with royalty. And in the whole kingdom, tis no one as royal than I. Which means I dine alone. Lonely at the top, huh? Forsooth, yea, and verily. Wrap those pancakes up, kind peasant. To go, I'll take them, I will. Can you not see that I, the very mean queen, am in a hurry? I'm expected at a rehearsal forthwith, or the director shall have my crown. Thank you, kind peasant. Make way. Overboard is right. Do you think she'll turn back into Lemon after the play? Or will we be stuck with Berry Mean Queen forever? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, try it again. Again? We're doing it till we get it right. Mirror, mirror, at my command, tell me who is Barry Fairest in all the land? Uh, is it Princess Berrykin? Berrykin Plume? Oh, wait, uh, don't tell me. Uh, is it J.D. Bug at the post office? No, Barry Kimbloom. We're not in Berry Bitty City right now. We're in the play Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins. And all you have to do is say your lines. Do you remember your lines? Uh, oh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, the script. Um... <sighs> Give him the next line, Berry Mean Queen. Snowberry? <gasps> That's impossible! Is it? The mirror never... Oh, yes, Miss Bump, I remember now. The mirror never sighs. <sighs> lies. The mirror never lies. Oh, that's it. The mirror never lies. Yes, you got it. <sighs> Let's do it again from the top. Mirror, mirror at my command. Tell me who is Barry Fairest in all the land. Snowberry. Snowberry? <gasps> That's impossible! The mirror never cries. Oh. Oh, deary me! Goodness gracious! I am lost in the woods. The terrible, wearable woods. Alone and frightened. It is a dark night. I am so very, very scared of the fearsome animals and wild creatures. Come on, girl. You can do it. It's your big scene. Huh? Oh, fearsome creatures. Oh, wild animals. Are you there? Somewhere? Oh, well, I can't see you any wild animals at the moment, but I sure know they're here because I can just feel they are near. I can kind of, you know, sense them. Oh, I must hide from the wild animals. Gasp! Why, here is one now! Hmm. <laughs> An opossum? I mean, a wolf? I mean, what are you supposed to Cut! be? Cut! Raspberry, it's a ferocious tiger! Oh, right! Well, I forgot. Without the tiger costume, I guess, you know, I couldn't tell. And the line before that, that's not in the script. Well, it just didn't feel real to my character to say there were wild animals when there wasn't. Uh. I couldn't see them. I understand. Ta-da! Huh? We finished painting the cottage backdrop, you wanted, Plum? Great. Let's see it. What am I looking at? The, the Seven, Seven Barricans Cottage. Well, it looks like two different buildings stuck together. 
Well, I was thinking they would live in this kind of house. And I really feel this is the sort of home that I, 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 I <laughs> they would prefer. So we, uh, split, split the, the difference. difference. Oh. Plum, may I please speak with you about my lines in the scene with the Berry Mean Queen? I don't think they are genuine or, you know, organic or, I mean, really true to my character. <gasps> huh? <laughs> this is not how a cast behaves! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Plums, <laughs> Puppy Soria. Uh? Uh, Plum, I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure it's a good idea to sit right there. Ah, uh, yes. So pleased to make your acquaintance. I am the very mean queen, very fairest in all the land. What? What's that you say? I am not the very fairest in all the land? Who? Whom do you speak of? Snowberry? <gasps> Curses! Who goes there? Who dares? Uh, it's Strawberry and Cherry. We were wondering if you're coming to book club. No, I'm nervous. Raspberry didn't have time to sew all the costumes because she was too busy learning her lines. If the tidal wave isn't big enough, the puppies don't look scary enough. Hmm? Oh, Bitterberries. They're ready. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a queen with a magic mirror. Mirror, mirror, at my command. Tell me who is Berry Fairest in all the land. Great effects, Plum. My queen, you are the berry... Um, uh, uh, oh. uh, yeah, the berry fairest in all the land. Ah, the mirror never lies. And all was well for the queen. Until one day... Mirror, mirror, at my command. Tell me, who is berry fairest in all the land? Well, the gist of it is, there's this new kid named Snowberry who is looking pretty fair these days. What? Well, uh, did you really expect to be very fairest of the land forever? So, are you saying the Snowberry is fairer than I? Um, yes. That's impossible! Uh, the mirror never... Lies. <sighs> oh, uh, mm, uh, the very idea. Show me this, Snowberry. Well, okay, if you insist. Ugh! Remove her, please. No, I mean, I need her removed from the planet. Well, I'm just a mirror. Don't you need something like some uh, evil huntsman or, or something for a job like that? Huntsmen and poison apples couldn't do the job, so I'll have to do it myself. Oh, my! Oh, dear! I am done for! No, you're not, Snowberry! Curses! It's the Southern... For the very mean queen, not for me. 
<laughs> oh, Plum. Here. <laughs> Say hello to the director of Snowberry and the 700 mishaps. <laughs> oh, you'll pull it together. It just got a little bit big. And a little less fun. It got a lot big and a no fun. A little play for the baby berrykins was a fun idea, but I kind of went overboard. <laughs> I bet everyone is mad at me. Oh, they aren't mad at you. They're all on stage, waiting for their next directions. Really? Maybe you could do a different play. Something on a smaller scale, so you could have fun directing it. You think they'd give me a second chance? Everyone loves you, Plum. Of course. Are you on it, everyone? I have an announcement. If you're willing to help me with another play, I promise we'll do something simple and fun. Something the Little Berry Kings will love. <laughs> oh, well, I, uh, I found a story that sounds like fun. And when can we start? How about tomorrow morning? When you're done there, get over to that sidewalk. Morning, Barry Kinville. Good morning, Strawberry, and a very beautiful one it is. <laughs> right as raspberries. Huh? Wow. Looks like the marketplace is off to a great start. This is going to be wonderful. Oh, I just hope it's quick. Remember, two weeks, two weeks! My next crop of very bitty produce will be ready to harvest in just two weeks. This marketplace has got to go up, 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 or there won't be any place to put my peaches. Lay out my lemons, keep my carrots. We're doing the best we can. Everybody calm down. I know the deadline is tight, but I've worked out a schedule. If we follow this, we'll be finished in two weeks. No problem. We can do that. No Consider problem. Consider it done. Don't worry, Barry Kim Bloom. We'll be ready when you are. Oh, thank you, thank you. Gotta get back to caring for my corn, pruning my peas, weeding my watermelons, nurturing my nectarines. Oh. Well then, you have all your materials? Well, I could use those designs for your apartment on the second floor. Oh, I'll get to those today. And maybe some, oh, watch it, extra hands to help put up the frame this afternoon. Hmm, I'll round up the girls. See if they can spare a couple of hours after lunch. Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, Plum! Ugh. Oh. Plum? On vacation? I didn't know she was going on vacation. Lemon has gone traveling? Oh. Orange's store is closed. Please come back another time. Gone fishing? Blueberry's never been fishing in her life. Oh, muffin crumbs. This is awfully odd. <laughs> Come on, Custard. <laughs> this isn't playtime, huh? Cupcake, please. I have work to do. <laughs> so, what do you think of this for my dream bedroom, Custard? Huh? Oh, you're right. There's something I forgot. I've always wanted a little shelf behind my bed. You know, to keep a glass of water, a book, and my phone. Oh, and my dream bedroom would have a skylight above the bed. Oh. I would wish on shooting stars as I drift off to sleep. And built-in drawers with the smallest drawer on top for socks and tights, and the largest drawer on the bottom for, you know, my sweaters. <gasps> no. What? Uh, what? What about your vacation and your travels and uh, fishing? Vacation? Pickled pineapples. Have you flipped your flapjacks? We've got a marketplace to build. Hold on, but you... You closed your stores so... <laughs> <laughs> so we can help you, silly. You... You did that for me? Of course! Oh, what did you expect? That's what friends are for! You. Wow! 
why don't we head over to the building site and get started? have it mostly under control, but they do need extra hands to put up the frame. How exciting! Putting up the frame! And after that, what can we do? Yes! What can we do? Strawberry, we won't be ready to put up the frame until after lunch, but may I show you the grout colors for the tiles? Uh, sure. Um, just, uh... We can help. I'm great at grout. I'm a perfect painter. I could alphabetize supplies. And could you confirm the height of the fruit stall, Strawberry? Sure, I... Oh, are those the plans for the upstairs apartment? Oh, uh, not quite finished yet, Barry Kimbell. <gasps> the upstairs apartment? We'll work on that. That'll be our project. Oh, uh, really? Um, oh, okay. That'd be a big help, sure. But I haven't finished the, um, designs. We know what you love, Strawberry. Yeah. You want a skylight, right? How did you know that? Don't worry, Strawberry. We'll run every idea by you. What do you say? Well, all right. That's so nice of you to offer. Our pleasure. Come on, girls. Let's get going. <laughs> Great! Bloomin' butter beans! You aren't supposed to be ripe yet! I told Strawberry two weeks! Oh no, no! The marketplace isn't ready yet! There's no place to put all of you until it's finished! What will I do? Oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> Galloping water bottles. Oh, I've got to find some place to hide this stuff before Strawberry finds out. Ooh. But where will she put her books? She can come here to me. I'll find a place. I keep hearing a creaking sound. Oh, the only thing I hear is the pitiful wails of my poor ideas as they're shot down. Huh. Guess I'm just hearing things. She'll need a vanity for doing her hair. Like I said, there isn't room. Where will she put all her scarves? There could be a shelf in the wardrobe. One can't have too many books. Okay. So, we all agree we want Strawberry's bedroom to have a special scent. Absolutely! But as far as the other ideas, Blueberry wants built-in bookshelves. Lemon believes a vanity is a must. Plum, you want her to have a dance bar. Which will take an entire wall. But where will she do her morning stretching? In your big wardrobe that'll take up half the room? Hey, just saying. Now, we promised we would run our plans past Strawberry. So tomorrow, let's each present our ideas and let her decide. What you think? Brilliant! Brilliant. Great idea! Perfect! Why didn't I think of that? Terrific! Well then, meeting adjourned. So, who's for tea? Oh, I am, thanks. Blueberry? Um, do you have any raspberry? I'll take lemon. Mmm, orange. Plum, please. Nothing tops plum tea. As long as it has a squeeze of lemon. Nah, I'm still just hearing things. Life gives you pineapples, make pineapple. Um, pineapple. Oh, pineapple upside down and sideways cake. Hmm. Too woodsy for Strawberry's bedroom. Need more floral. Ah! <gasps> I'm not just hearing things, now I'm seeing things. Uh, onions? Uh, how'd these 
get in there. of humorous short stories, fiction, by Patsy Von Schlagopeck. That's certainly an unwieldy name. Uh, what does unwieldy mean, Blueberry? It means difficult to handle, maybe because of size or shape. Like that armoire and vanity? Huh? But, but, she has to have an armoire. But she has to have a vanity. I know, it's just that you left me the smallest wall for my ballet bar. But it's perfect, Plum. It is? Well, I was thinking, do you think I could use the bar to hang some silky scarves on just to show Strawberry what else she could use it for? Okay, girls, I've got it! The perfect scent for Strawberry's dream bedroom. Uh, but wait, I've got the perfect scent. Here's mine. What about my perfume? But Strawberry said she loved my orange aura room fragrance. She said she absolutely adored my plumicious pleasing perfume. She definitely okayed my Berry Bonnie Blueberry Bedroom Beautifier. But she okayed my Luscious Lemon Home Aromaizer! Hey! There's orange aura stuck to my vanity. It was supposed to be lemony light white. It's okay, Lemon. You know, orange really goes better with my bedspread palette anyway. <gasps> That's nice, Blueberry. Thank you. I can't smell my fragrance. Oh, no. What have we done? Ugh. It's getting a little powerful in here. Let's take a break. Break? Let's evacuate. Give it a chance to unscent. Is rich. Let me out of here. Yeah. Hi, Barrack in Bloom. Looking forward to that big harvest in two weeks, huh? <laughs> We're right on schedule. Oh, Barry and Bill, I was thinking, what a shame. What a very big shame. What do you mean? Well, it's just if the marketplace could be finished by, oh, let's say, tomorrow, I could submit a photo of it to Better Barry Bidding Buildings Digest for their Best Built Bidding Building of the Year Award. You would be a shoe in the Best Built Bitty Building Award? Whoa. Well, that's bigger than the Plasterer Prize and the Tyler's Trophy put together. Winning that would be such an honor for the crew. And for the construction boss in charge. All right, Berrykins, listen up. We have a little change in schedule. And you're gonna love it. <laughs> Fresh kiwi fruit. 
none finer. Now, just stay there until tomorrow when you'll have your very own display in the marketplace. Wow! It's almost all done. Strawberry, looking great, huh? We're down to the wire. But you don't have to work so hard. You're way ahead of schedule. Oh, nothing doing, Strawberry. We're going for the gold. <gasps> Wait! I brought you all some pineapple upside down, Strawberry. Are you ready, Strawberry? Ready for what? Wait and see. <laughs> okay, just a few more steps. Almost there. <laughs> Just love it! Wow, it's, uh, incredible. Oh, what a pretty bedspread. <laughs> and I love having a book. I mean, lots of books right by the bed. And what a great vanity. I never would have thought of that. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll have to get more outfits to fit in this wardrobe. <laughs> oh, what an original lampshade. Orange made it. Oh, and your exercise bar, Plum. I'll be sure to get my exercise first thing. And what an unusual room fragrance. Which fragrance do you like best? All I smell is kiwi, which is quite, uh, refreshing. Kiwi? Hmm. What's the matter, Strawberry? Oh, you didn't change your mind about this skylight, did you? Oh, because we can get rid of it. Or move it. Oh, no. It's just you've all done so much work for me. Of course, Strawberry. Anything to make you happy. Well, we'll leave you to enjoy. Strawberry. I put them there. I just didn't want to let anyone down. How would you let us down? I was wrong about the harvest. It won't be ready in two weeks. Well, that's okay. We can wait. It's ready now. No problem. We can now? <gasps> Colliding kiwis. We'd better get busy. This marketplace has to be open tomorrow. We're on it. Now let's get a move on. Clean up these kiwis. We're going to have this place ready at dawn. Good evening, Princess Berrikin. And what an evening it is. I heard about Berrikin Bloom's early harvest. Is there anything I could do to help? Oh, thank you, Princess. You could help me take these sandwiches over to the marketplace for the night crew. If only Berrikin Bloom could have expressed his needs from the start. Yes, but he was afraid to disappoint and... Oh, um, before you go, perhaps you could help me by eating some pineapple upside down and sideways cake. Oh, I am sorry, but I don't care for pineapple. But knowing you did something so thoughtful is sweet enough. That was a very gracious way to be honest, Princess. Hmm. I better call.
call the girls over here for a pineapple party. Lovely idea. I didn't tell you before what I wanted. Well, we're glad you finally did. Really? Absolutely. It's your bedroom. We just want you to be happy in it. I am. I really am. Uh, we forgot something. Oh? Uh, another room fragrance? Maybe... Oh. Strawberry scent. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> huh? A place to put down your ideas for the marketplace's grand opening celebration. <gasps> Muffin crumbs! I forgot about the grand opening! Custard, cupcake, it's gonna be a long night. You daisies look thirsty. You're growing incredibly fast. Hi, Blueberry. So, how does your garden grow? Most definitely the fastest growing flowers I've ever seen. Just planted the seeds this morning and look, they've sprouted already. Wow, that is fast. Zippy grow dramatic daisies from berry bitty seed to full size flower in just a few days. Um, how big do you think they'll get? Approximately as tall as my store. Oh, almost forgot. The cookbook you ordered came this morning. Oh, terrific! <laughs> The Mighty Muffin Cookbook. Big recipes for bitty bakers. Oh, thank you, Blueberry. <laughs> You're very welcome. There's a corn muffin recipe in here that I can't wait to try. I've heard it's really good, but it's more complicated than anything I've baked before. I read about the author, a very famous chef in Big Bitty City. I'm sure if you just follow his directions, you'll be just fine. <laughs> to 375. Check. Set timer for 25 minutes. Check. Huh? Recipe? If those are muffins, I can't wait to see what happens when you bake a cake. Thanks for helping me clean up, everybody. 
everybody. When somebody in Berry Bitty City needs help, we all help. <gasps> you got it. Sure, no problem. Glad to help. That's what we do in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. And you're quite sure you followed the recipe? I think so. Well, the most likely explanation is that you must have made a mistake somewhere along the line. Seems like it. But I was sure I followed the directions. Well, I'll just have to try it again. And this time, I'll be super careful. Wow, no wonder they call you Zippy Grill. You're really getting big. Hmm, it's my observation that you look a little different from the picture. But you're so young yet. Who knows what you'll look like when you grow up? <gasps> oh no! Come on! What is it? Oh no! Not again! Let's go! Uh, don't worry. This time I just put one bitty, and I mean very bitty muffin in the oven, instead of a whole pan. Huh? <gasps> huh? Oh. This time, all I have to clean is the oven. Okay, I got it. Just change its name to... Muffin surprise! Uh, <laughs> oh, <I don't> <laughs> muffin explosion? Ha! Uh -huh. Mega Muffin Explosion Supreme! Ha uh ha! -huh. <laughs> hey, that is pretty funny! <laughs> this really doesn't make sense. I was extra careful to follow the directions, but the same thing happened. I checked off every step, double checked the oven's temperature, triple checked the timer. Huh. Maybe the recipe has a mistake in it. What do you think? I think that's highly unlikely. Something you did seems more probable to me. Too much flour, not enough water? I measured everything to the last drop. But, you know, sometimes the most unlikely possibility is possible. There might be a mistake in the cookbook. But how could that be? I don't know. But the only way to find out is to give it another try and pay extra super close attention to every step. And if it still doesn't work, well, then maybe this is one of those times when I'll have to use my own judgment, my own common sense, and my own taste buds and adjust the recipe. Don't worry, I'll solve this puzzle. Hmm, I like directions you can count on. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes it's fun to improvise. Improvise? It means to make something out of what you have at the moment. Kind of like when things don't go as planned, go with what you have and make the best you can with it. I like it. Sounds like a good way to solve a puzzle. And speaking of puzzles, I've got one for you in my garden. Got a minute? Sure. Well, they're tall, all right. Even taller than the package said they were supposed to be. Are you sure they're daisies? Of course! It says so on the seed packet. Could they just look that way because they're still growing? Well, I'm not a plant expert. But you know who is! <laughs> Oops, sorry, Blueberry. <laughs> no problem. Yes, it must be. <laughs> it's corn. Corn? Impossible! I planted daisy seeds. Oh, thank you, Blueberry. <laughs> You're welcome, Berry Can Bloom. But are you sure? Oh, yes. If you hadn't caught me. I mean, about the, you know, daisies. Daisies? Oh, no, 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 no. Corn. Oh, dear. What's the matter? You've never looked sadder. It must have been something I did to the daisy seeds. Too much water, or too little water, or too much sun, or something. Uh, oh my, you did everything right. Best crop of corn I've seen. 
That should be a natural with squash. Hmm. Oh, well, come on, everybody. Back to the berry works. <laughs> nice corn. Ooh, that's what I call corn. Tallest I've ever seen. Boy, it is big. Hi, berrykins. Hi, Hi strawberry. Nice corn. So I've been told. Maybe we better dig it up and replant it somewhere else before it gets too big? They can't get bigger. They're daisies. They have to be. It says so on the package. Well, I just came over because I got a letter from the author of the Mighty Muffin Cookbook. I wrote to him. You did? Uh-huh. I said I couldn't get his recipe to work, so I improvised. I've made muffins before, and I don't remember ever using that much baking soda. I tried using less, and the muffins came out better. So I asked the author, could there be a mistake in his book? And what did he say? That he checked it out, and yes, there was a mistake. The recipe called for a cup full of baking soda, when it should have been a tablespoon. Wow, that's the last thing I would have imagined for the cookbook to be wrong. I tried the muffins again with the right directions, and they came out perfectly. He says they're printing a new edition right away, with the mistake fixed, and he's sending me a signed copy. <laughs> That's wonderful, Strawberry. So, you never know. Maybe you did everything right, but the package was wrong. Here, I made a batch of muffins for you. Oh. Thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Listen, gotta run back. <laughs> I'm still baking. See you, Blueberry. No, the plants I'm trying to describe that are growing in my garden at this very minute do not look anything like daisies. Okay, now let me get this straight. You're saying long leaves. Long leaves. Kind of bent down and flopped over, sort of like cornstalk leaves. Exactly like cornstalk leaves. And you say long thing is that sort of look like ears of corn. No, they look exactly like ears of corn. I'm looking at a picture of a big stalk of corn. Right here in the official encyclopedia of flowers, farm foods, and... Well, I'm a daisy man myself, no expert on corn, except when I pop it. But watch out, when you're bitty, that stalk pops with a bang. <laughs> but here at Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for bitty gardens is our motto, we pretty much guess that what you have growing there is probably... Corn. But how is that possible when I planted your company's daisy seeds? Well, now, right there's the mystery. And I don't mind telling you, it's got us stumped. Oh! Oh, no! Well, see, the plain fact is that here at Zippy Grove Daisies, we don't sell corn, no serene. But we're a fiction tool. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. We've been experimenting with our own Zippy Grove Super Size Ever Pop Popcorn. Wow, what a bang when it pops. Goes off like a firecracker. As soon as we can figure out how to get the bang out of the pop, we're gonna put it on the market. In the meantime, we think that's the answer to your mystery. It is? Yep. We figure some of our experimental supersized popcorn must have gotten to one of our official daisy seed packets. And you bought it. <gasps> oh, no! Great so. <laughs> we all feel so sorry it happened. We're sending you a year's supply of Zippy Grow Daisy Seed Packets. Compliments of Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for pretty gardens is our motto. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate your help. Good night. <gasps> oh, no! I've called you all here is to see if we can put our heads together and figure out what we want to do with these. Well, since Blueberry says it's popcorn, I say let's pop it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, sounds good to me. All right, let's get popping. Okay, yeah, and have a popcorn party. I think that would be lovely. Oh, that's <laughs> 
wish I had listened to you, Strawberry, when you said I should replant them somewhere else. Now look at all the trouble my garden has caused. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, there is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Together. I'm afraid a popcorn party with this popcorn would be ill-advised, meaning not a good idea. You see, the seed company hasn't figured out how to take the bang out of the pop, and I believe it would be too oh. dangerous. Huh? Oh, my! We are pretty bitty, and this corn pop's very big! Yeah, oh, it's not a good idea. Uh, yeah, oh. I think so. You're right. Yeah. Oh, oh, here's an idea. Um, we could dig up all the corn stalks and move them so no more grows here. Good idea. We'll start right away. And we better get all these ears of corn out of town before they ripen and drop their seeds and grow goodness knows how many more! Good point. Oh, I wonder how far we'll have to take them. I would estimate far enough away so when the seeds do grow, they don't threaten us again. Makes sense to me. Yeah. On strawberry, how can we move them? <laughs> We're so bitty and they're so <laughs> big. <sighs> Too bad we can't eat them. I have an idea. Orange, do you have any more rope in your store? Yes, I do. Why? Okay, let's move about! enough away, I believe. kind of thing in any of my books. We'll figure out a way. Improvise. What we need is a ladder. Too bad all we have is an ear of corn. Wait, what did you say? Improvise. That's it! Hey! An, an ear, ear of corn ladder! ladder. Yeah! <laughs> from the vent is making it too slippery. If only that steam vent would stop steaming. Now I'm really hungry. I wonder how raw popcorn tastes. Wait, why eat it raw? Because this place doesn't have a kitchen to cook it with. Use the steam vent. Heat the corn and make it pop. Then we could eat it. Good thinking, Strawberry. <laughs> Places that they 
should be. It's like they just vanished into thin air. It doesn't make sense. Then, uh, maybe we should look in all the places that, you know, uh, don't make sense. What, like the opposite direction from where we last saw them? Why not? Well, at least we'll have plenty to eat. We can always pop more corn. Popcorn. That's it! Let's pop all the corn and it will fill up this cavern and carry us to the top. Oh, Blueberry, that's a great idea. Yeah.